assalamu alaikum welcome back to my channel in this video you will learn how to cut and stick this abaya with wood you can see how beautiful it is so trust me it's very easy to cut and stitch if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe like and share my video and to my returning subscriber, thank you for being part of the family. May Allah continue to reward your brother play. Don't forget to give me thumbs up, like and share this video. Thank you. Let's get started. So, I'm going to use this paper so that you can see what I'm cutting very well. So, this is four years of like equip material. So you can use like that if you like. So this table marker and of course scissors. So, so so I'm going to drag it out on this paper to measure the length and the breadth. So so for the breadth is 54 inches so you need 54 inches and for the length so you have two inches seam allowance to the length so, yeah this length i'm making yourself is 56 inches plus two you have 58 inches so i'm going to cut out from my fabric 54 inches by 58 inches so the wideness of the um abaya is 54 inches while the length i'm working with is 58 so you are going to cut this in two places so one will be for the one piece and the second one will be for the back piece so you fold it in place you can see the way i'm folding it ensure you fold the right side so don't fold the length you fold the plate so this for the front and the back piece so you place it on each other so ensure that you folded the right side so after folding it you cross check whether you fold you folded the right side so you, you confirm your length measurement so don't fold this way so you fold in length so very very jamil so after folding you need just ensure you confirm your length measurement so had it done part yeah so i'm going to measure 16 inches so for the down wideness 16 inches so after that you connect it to the to the sleeve mount area just connect it like this from up you connect it to the 16 inches that i just measured So after that, you measure the neck breadth. So the neck breadth measurement is 4 inches. The length is 5 inches. So breadth 4 inches. The length is 5 inches. You make a square shape like this then you cough it like this so if i begin i can make use of your instruments so at shoulder line measure one and half then you connect it to the neck so the neck measurement is um four by five and for the back to be four inches by one and a half inches so this side will be one and a half then you cough it just make like this so for the 
front neck measurement it is four inches by five inches and for the back piece neck measurement it is four inches by one and a half inches so for children you can just reduce it by an inch on both sides so i'm going to cut this out now so you just follow the chalking so this is the shoulder slant so you cut it you cut it together but when you want to cut the neck you separate it like this so don't mistakenly cut it together with the back piece so you cut the front piece separate and the back piece separate for the net for the neck so this as easy as this so when you open it you should have something like this so next thing is to cut this leaf so for this leaf I will cut about 12 inches by 12 inches in two places so for both sleeves so the breadth is 12 inches while the length so is 12 inches so when you fold it you should have 12 by 6 so you fold it there you fold it like this so when you fold it in four so be six in length and six in breadth so you got you are going to fix it like this you can see it so it is very easy to cut so if you have any question you can leave your question in the comment section i will attend to it so this is the fabric i've cut it out on the fabric so I've stitched the shoulder slant. You can see it. So you can see the neck area. So the next thing for us to do now is to measure the neck to measure the neck so that you know what we have. So this is 15 inches. So for children, it shouldn't be more than 13 inches when you measure it. So for the hijab, you measure when you fold it, so you should have about 15 and a half. Half an inch for the seam allowance. So you fold it like this and measure 15 and a half so you know we measure 15 and a half for the neck measurement so i'll measure 15 and a half by 17 inches so the 17 inches will be for the hijab length so for the hijab wideness is 15 and a half so i've cut it out so you have something like this can see the length and the breadth so 15 inches sorry 15 and a half inches by by 17 inches so for the face opening for the face opening I'll measure 11 and a half inches so you can decide to measure your own face measurements so when you measure it around, you should have your first measurement divided by two. But usually eleven is usually okay. Is either twenty two or twenty two, twenty two or twenty three inches for the face opening for hard dots. So I've measured the eleven and a half at top. So here you measure about one and a half inches from down like this just to shape the down part so you connect the 11 inches with the one and a half so, so you connect the you can see 
Ve şok de. So, the love in she shock at soap you connect to the one and a half as done, then you ship the down part. You can see the essence of that 1.5. Just to ship the down part of the hijab. So after that, you cut it like this. So you can see where I'm cutting it is opening part. So the other side is folded. So this is for the hijab. Then you notch the center because we are going to fit the cap. So this is for the hijab. So for this, for the wood. So this is for the wood. So you have 13 inches by 17 inches. So 13 inches on fold. You can see there's some fold for the wideness. Why the 17 will be for the length. So it's very easy. Just follow the arm teaching you. So these four inches from that angle, from the open mind part, measure four inches, then shape it like this. Just achieve the wooden shape. So after that, we are going to cut out very shock. So this is for the wood. So after that, I'll split this area. I'll slip. I'll split it open. So this side, I'm going to stitch it. The cuff parts you stitch it, and this is the down parts. So I've attached the cap to the chop. So we don't know how to cut the cup. You can check my videos. I've made tutorial on it. So after that, you stitch by half inch at the front part. So this top part, I'm going to attach it to the abaya. So this is the wood, you can see that I've, I've stitched it and I've ironed it. Mm -hmm. so, so, for the rope, I've, I've so the rope, then you start it inside. So just make about three quarter inch then you start the rope you can make use of needle uh ah, sorry safety pin to put it inside so you attach it before you put your rope attach the wood to the abaya before you put your rope so this is the abaya So I will notch the center front and center back. Very, very jammy. Notch the center front and center back. So this center back. So let the center back of the wood to align with center back of the abaya. Then you stitch it. So after that, you turn the abaya to the long side, then you, you insert the hijab inside. So I'm trying to notch the back center, center back for the hijab too. 
So when you want to fix the chop, ensure that the center back aligns with the center back of the abaya. So I've stitched the the wood to the abaya. So after that, you turn it to the wrong side. So I'm just trying to show you the way I fixed it. You can see it. You can just place it like this. Right side facing the right side that you tie the wood. So for this each of so you turn the so it's on the one side already. The abaya is on the wrong side. So after you can see it. So ignite the center back, let this place to align, then ignite the center front too. It's very very important. Very very important. So it's on the each up to the right side. So the abaya is on the wrong side. So you inside your each up, you can see it. This the right side facing the right side, right side of the each up facing the right side of the abaya. Letting the center fonts meet the center font of the abaya. You can see it. So it lets the center back of the each up meet the center front uh, center back of the abaya center front of the hijab to the center front of the abaya center back of the hijab to the center back of the abaya it must align so you can use your pin to secure it then you stitch round so when you get this right so you have your results but if you not do the way i'm doing it the results will be okay so i've stitched it and so i'll turn to the right side now you can see it's this is the job so i'm just trying to show you the way you fix it before it's, it's, you stitch it around. So I've turned it to the right side. You can see the each other, the wood. You can see how neat it is. So, so after that, you fix your sleeve. Then you sew the side. So, thank you. This is the husband. You can see how easy to cut this beautiful and lovely abaya. It's wood. So, if you have any question, don't forget to leave it in the comment section. I will attend to it. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Tap notification bell so that you can be notified when we upload new video. Masala.